when you get bored and you need to be woken up. Kind of like a puppy dog hanging their head out the window. You want to try with your hair? Really? You want to try letting your locks flow in the wind? <laughs> feels good, honey. Feels good. It's been a long All right, we're getting out of here. We're gonna go see some of our friends, Gary and Kelsey, play at 14 Lakes Brewery where we played earlier this month. Um, it's gonna be fun to get out and see other people play for a change. So Jacqueline's waiting for me in the truck, so I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. What, I don't know. Hi, Dave. Here we are. How you doing? This good, is good to see you. Good to meet you. Yeah, it's all good. Hi, Gary. Thanks. Hi, Dan. It's Dan. Hi, Dan. And that's Gary and Kelsey, and that's my brother Dan. We call him Vinny. We called him Vinny since we were a little kid, so actually, like junior high. Don't even know where the nickname came from, but everybody else out of the family calls him Dan, and the family and his friends call him Vinny. So there you go. That's Vinny or Dan. You choose. Well, that was really good for the soul, wasn't it? Was it was very fun. It was great to mm -hmm. see Gary and Kelsey. Um, we stayed with them last year, and, yeah. and we mooched off on their property with Gary, Kelsey, and Carl Olson, their dog. <laughs> He's shot a, a car Shot a Carl Olson right here. And we got to hang out with my brother and your brother-in-law, Vinny. Are you ready to get back on the road? I am. I was just saying this morning when we were getting gas, um, I'm excited to start traveling again. <laughs> I always say that though. It's been fun, we've had a lot of shows, seen a lot of family and friends, but we're ready to travel again. So yes, always excited. I have a few calls to make to some uh, clients and coaches, potential clients, but that's gonna be good because we're just sitting in the truck anyhow, so. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. If you ever get a chance to come to Cross Lake, Minnesota, stay at the Army Corps of Engineers Park. It is really nice here. People are good, lots of trees. You're actually right in the middle of town, but there's a lake, so there's a lot that you can do, um, but it is kind of nice to be close to town. And like we always say, every time we try to film, there's always something going on. <laughs> Continue our way. We're in Walker, Minnesota. Walker, Minnesota is beautiful. Huge lakes. I've done a wet. I did a wedding up here uh, at a private residence, and it was amazing. The views, unbelievable. Thing about Minnesota, the two great areas are basically Lake of the Woods. Three great areas: Lake of the Woods, way north, the northern uh, Brainerd Lakes area, i.e., Walker or Slash Walker, and then the North Shore, which is Duluth, Grand Marais. All that stuff, Possible Islands, which is um, in Wisconsin, but it's all kind of together. And uh, it's a beautiful area to come up to. So if you guys ever get a chance, come up to uh, Brainerd, Walker, North Shore, and uh, Rainy Lake area, which is Lake of the Woods. <laughs> Heading 
to a new place. We should be there in about four minutes and, oh, and potential spam is calling us. So, um, I think it's called, what is it, the Red, Red, River. Red River State Park, yeah. Park or something like that? Basically. Yeah. to get a park pass as well. So the park pass is $7 for the day. Our site with full hookups is 41. We didn't really want to spend that money. We were going to Boondock, uh, but it is supposed to be about 87 degrees today. So we have to do an interview and some other things and we don't want to be sweating and not able to think. So that's why we're coming here. And I'm looking forward to it because it's different. So it's supposed to be nice. I looked at the reviews and uh, I think it'll be a good place to stay. What do you think? I think it'll be a good place to stay. What do you think? I think it'll be a great place to stay. So we'll stay. <laughs> All right, so I got my park pass for $7 and then um, a little map with our site. And I met two people from Manitoba. So I asked them where they were from and they were from Beausjour. And uh, he said, have you ever heard of it? And I said, yeah, because I'm from Northern Manitoba. So I'm already feeling like I'm closer to home and we're not even in Canada yet. I love it. Well, that was kind of easy. Yeah, these pull throughs are nice. I love these little zips in and uh, zips out, so it's good. <laughs> All right, I'll check the level. Okay, she's gonna check the level. <laughs> busy. Oh yeah, from your shingles shot? I don't know. I guess that's what it's from, but I had vertigo so bad that I spent one whole day just laying in bed and now it's gone away quite a bit. But when I'm active and doing things and looking down, I get dizzy again and spatial orientation is not good. So you better watch me. <laughs> Make sure I don't bang into something. Whew. It's kind of a nice little park here. I like it. It's like, it reminds me of a little city park, um, except bigger, but kind of down this little lane you can see here, dizzy time, and then there, goes down the lane, we're kind of on the end, and we have a, um, an interview tonight, so we need Starlink, which is cool because there's this field out here, and we can put it out in the field, and it'll shoot up over the trees, so it works out really well, so we're very excited. It is hot. I said that before, but it is really hot. I was standing by the engine of the truck and I, I could have cooked uh, dinner on the, on the hood of the truck. It's so, it's so warm. So this will be good. Yeah. Excited to stay here tonight and be able to chill out for an evening. Good stuff. Welcome to RVing full time. Welcome to RVing part time. So what is the name of this campground? Uh, it's the Sherwood, I think. I think it's we, Sherwood. And we need to, <laughs> to look at the sign and then turn the camera on. But you know what I do? I oh. put it right down here. <laughs> All my mistakes go right down yeah. below what we're saying. And it was confusing when we were on the website this morning when I was looking because I looked up the this Red River uh, recreation area and <laughs> went to look for the campground and then this Sherwood campground came up. You do have to have a park pass. We just got a day pass though. Mm -hmm. There are a ton of sites. I want to say 52 campsites here. Most of them are the pull throughs like we have. Yes. And Ouch, uh, we're only 40 me. minutes from the, uh, the border. Something just bit me and like a mosquito or some kind of bug and I thought, 
boy, that's nothing. You just wait until we get up to northern Manitoba. So. When we were up there last year, I saw a mosquito carry off a small child. Mm -hmm. It dropped it, but it picked it up and it was gone. That's why we put on extra weight before we head up, just in case. No? No. 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 <laughs> Try another one. All right. We are so thankful that we decided to come to a campground because we had an interview and we had to turn our air conditioning off for a little while, just for about 45 minutes. We were dying. And your leg was touching my leg. Yeah. And oh, we, that were was both, love. We, we were both sweating, so I kept pushing Dave's leg away, like, don't touch me, it's too hot. See, and I thought you were just playing hard to get. <laughs> well, that too. right now because one of those trucks threw a rock and it just smashed into our windshield and I don't see anything yet but something might still develop because man that hit hard and we just maybe three weeks ago had somebody come out and repair our windshield because we had a rock in it and uh, yeah so one of the perils of uh, so much driving I guess and being on the road look out for your windshields of traveling internationally. <laughs> Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. So today I made a recipe that I have not made before and it's a camping recipe. Got my barbecue gloves on and uh, we're out camping with my parents. So this is their barbecue, but I made a Cajun chicken foil wrap dish. So I'm just gonna take it out here and hopefully it turned out. Let's see. Where's the scoop? All right. Should we open one and take a look? Ooh, look at that. Oh, that does look good. So this recipe has chicken diced up, broccoli chopped up, zucchini chopped up, red, actually orange and green peppers chopped up, and then some chili powder in it for a little bit of zest. Uh, garlic, garlic powder, a couple of other spices. I'll put the recipe in the description of the video. And we are going to eat this, but it looks amazing. And you could do this over a grill on a fire as well when you are out enjoying the wilderness. And here's another client transformation. And that's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. You want to tell your parents they can start talking again? <laughs> yeah, they were being kind of noisy over bit. there. Yeah, a little chatty over there. <laughs> Hi, you ready to eat? came out and waved, so we're gonna say hi. Hi! hi. You actually 
they came back. Yeah. Oh my god. Hi, Dave. Hi. Good, how are you? Oh. I'm like, I just happened to laugh. Oh, did you have that in the back? Welcome to Rain and Cold. Welcome to Rain and Cold. Yep, we're heading out to the lake. Not staying in town. Heading out and uh, we are going to meet up with my family and we don't really care if it's raining and cold because our hearts will be warm. So we have rolled into Camper's Cove, which is 30 minutes outside of the Pa, Manitoba, maybe 20 minutes outside of the Pa, Jacqueline's hometown. And uh, she ran in to get our park pass, and we're gonna get going and get set up. It's raining again, it's cold and rainy, and uh, just like last year. So, got all settled. I had to buy a provincial park pass. I had to get an annual one because we're going to be here for three weeks, so it was just cheaper to get the annual one. And I can put the kids' car on that one too, so they don't have to buy one. Oh. Already mosquitoes. Welcome to the life of YouTube. Ready to go fishing? I am. I hope it's as good as it was the other day. We were just catching them one after another. I want you to experience that. minnows and they're frozen so just add a little water and uh, we'll wait for them to unthaw put them on the hook we can't use live minnows here so these ones are not live <laughs> so we cannot fish with barbed hooks because we do a lot of catch and release so we have to pinch the barbs down and then it's easier on the fish and easier to release them. Oh. Nice little fish, not too big. Good for eating. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Gwarving and please remember to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you like what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and comment below so we know what you're thinking and maybe consider becoming a member so we can give you some additional content. And we really hope to see you out here the most beautiful lake in the world. Clearwater Lake, Northern Manitoba. I'll see y'all out here. See you all out here. You already said that. I get to say it again. Oh, you done? Bonjour.
Well, it's a little, little mind game she plays with me every now and then. Yeah, right, yeah. Like, I'm the one playing the mind game. You really want to go down this road and put <laughs> these people sitting right here? You started it. Okay, here's You some, expect me good. to just be the person that laughs and... Things are going to get real, I'm not going to have it, David. I'm just not going to have it today. I have no comeback. I know. The first time in my life, I have nothing. That's the best part when he's speechless. It's not the best part. It's very <laughs> awkward for me right now. Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. Got my barbecue gloves on and uh, we're out camping with my parents. Okay, shh. No, keep singing. <laughs> what was it? You don't just say that and walk away. I only know one word. Anxiety. <laughs> there we go. What's the next word? <laughs> Anxiety. This is the next word too.